welcome to Take Root. Today we're in Bentonville at the home of Countess and Charles Hodges. And Countess's garden was on the Master Gardener tour this past spring. And we're sitting in her beautiful new addition. But it didn't start out that way, did it, Countess? No, Beth. <laughs> Four years ago when we bought this lot, it was a pretty derelict lot. Um, totally overgrown with forsythia and all kinds of vines and different creeping things on the, the chain link fence. It had a chain link fence all the way around it and one of my first tasks was to tear out the chain link so I could get a good view of what was ahead of me. But once the chain link was gone then came the task of deciding what it needed to look like. And in my mind I could see curved lines all the way around. Wanted a two stone raised bed on both sides with roses on one side, at least, at least on the sunny side. And on the shadier side, more of the uh, cedars and evergreen type plants that would be green throughout the winter. So what you see now is um, the result of lots of planning, laying it out, deciding what plants would grow better in shade, versus sun, and I've made some changes where I put the hydrangeas first to hot and sunny. So I had to move them to a shadier spot behind the pergola, and in their place I put knockout roses, and they've done very well. One of the questions I was asked by the, the people who came to tour the garden, one of many questions, was how do you decide where your focal points are going to be in your garden? Yeah. And the focal points to me are where my benches are. I have benches from every vantage point, and the purpose for that vantage point is when I look out, I want to see something that is that captures my attention, that gives me a reason for sitting there and enjoying the view, whether it be because of a different color, different texture, or the structure that happens to be there, such as a birdhouse or a old framed window on the wall. Um, it's a, it's a place where I sit to look and I enjoy being in that spot. So here again, sitting, listening, looking is all part of being in the garden. And uh, in the quiet of the evening with the fountain off and the lights on and the frogs chirping, it's a perfect place to end the day. So as you can see, if you want to have a beautiful garden, it takes a lot of planning and a lot of work. For the Benton County Master Gardeners, this is Countess Hodges and Beth Strickland and Take Root.